Hi folks, something a little different tonight. Uh, we're showing the end of the homemade winemaking process. What you see here is a six gallon carboy. It's been full of wine that's been fermenting for about two months, three months, and it is a Concord based uh, red wine or blush I guess it is. And what my wife is doing here is she's using a siphon pump to draw it out of the carboy and into this bucket that has a spout on the bottom to begin the bottling process. She's doing that because the settlings or the solids uh, in the batch of wine itself are on the bottom and she doesn't want those to get into the wine bottles. Of course she just wants the clear wine so by using this siphon pump she can kind of take it from uh, up a little bit from where the solids are and then once she gets that drained down then she can just get rid of the excess. So uh, this is the process of of bottling the wine. As I said, this isn't the very beginning of the process. Of course, at some point we'll do a future video of the front end of the process uh, when she makes another batch. But for right now, what we're just showing you is the wine being pulled from the carboy into the bucket and then we'll come back when she's filling bottles. Okay, we begin the process of filling the bottles. As you can see, there's a tap that's built into this bucket. Um, these supplies are actually from a, a wine supply store that's in our area. My wife has man managed to hook up with that. She took a winemaking class and then also um, has been buying her supplies there. Uh, the, gla the jars, or excuse me, the, the wine bottles, the processing equipment, right down to the labels all come from the same place. So uh, it's a nifty operation. Now we're not a commercial um, wine producer. This is all for our own use or certainly for gifts for Christmas, birthdays, etc. So uh, she's, uh, she's, preparing. she's preparing now to get a lot of Christmas gifts together, of course, for family and friends. And she did correct me on that. Uh, it was only two months of uh, fermentation, not three. So, um, and this is, like I said, this is a uh, a Concord kind of a blush um, variety, a little bit, a little bit dry. It's not a dessert wine, but and as you can see, she fills up uh, the bottles. Not too full. <laughs> they are too full. Oh, they are a little too full. Yeah, a little too full. Um, you want to leave a bit of air space between the top of the of the wine level and where the cork goes in, and we'll show you how they get corked in a minute. But there needs to be a little expansion capability there, just in case there'd be some kind of chemical reaction or whatever, so that it wouldn't <laughs> blow the bottles up. So, but you can see it's just a simple procedure to do this, and she'll have uh, almost six gallons of wine from this part of the batch and then here is the corking machine you can see the cork is already in the top there Oops. just pushes it right down in and we're corked show them how you put the cork in the machine too so that they can see how that works now you went too fast, I couldn't follow. <laughs> it fits in there nifty and just a little bit of elbow elbow grease to push down on it, a little bit of arm strength and it's ready to go. And all she'll have to do yet uh, is put the uh, the uh, uh, paper around the top, I guess what they call it, Stelvins, and uh, then the labels on it, which she has both of, and that's the, that will complete the process. We'll come back to you with that part of the jig. Well, what I'm showing you here is the process of putting the foil over the uh, cork. I misspoke earlier in this video when I called them a Stelvin. The Stelvin is actually a screw cap uh, assembly, but this is not using a screw cap. This is using a more traditional cork. And then this um, 
sleeve, this foil sleeve that goes over the top is called a foil capsule, according to what I read. So, still learning about this, but that's all it takes. Dip it in boiling water and then it shrinks it and finishes it off for you. So the only thing left in this whole process then is going to be to put the actual label on so that we know what it is. We'll get back to you with that. Okay, we've got a case finished with the foil capsules and now we get to the final step just putting the labels on. She gets these labels printed at the wine shop. They have uh, her particular information on for what kind of wine it is and who made it and it makes it very nice, looks very professional. And then these bottles are now ready to be given as gifts. It's that simple. And she said too, they uh, when you want to reuse the bottles, these labels do come off fairly easily to be able to reuse the bottle without having to really scrub to get the... As well as the foil tops. Oh, and the foil tops too. So it's uh, user friendly. So this is, like I said, this is the very end of the whole process, but um, this is one of the things that we're doing here with uh, living out in the country is being able to make our own wine and have lots of gifts to give people and make use of what we've what we've been provided so um, and it just took her a brief a brief course at the wine shop to learn how to do all this and like I said we will also do a video in the future of the first part of this process drinking wine <laughs> I think they know how to do that uh, first part of the process of actually mixing up the batch and getting it ready so that it ferments and what's involved with that. It's interesting too. The next batch will be a small batch because it's actually more fun. A small batch allows for a lot more creativity. Okay, and we'll keep you in suspense about that until that happens. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.